peoples of YouTube, please attend carefully. For this week's episode, we're looking at another frequently requested character, a cult favorite who's made a real impression on fandom despite a comparatively small number of toys and roles in media. These are the basics on the Decepticon Ambassador of Destruction, Overlord. The original Overlord toy was released exclusively in Japan in 1988, the 15 inch tall centerpiece of that year's range of Decepticon figures. His robot mode was formed from two separate vehicles that combined together, a tank and a jet, which could also link up to form a base. Overlord was a Godmaster, the Japanese name for the toys known in English speaking markets as Power Masters. He came packaged with two minifigures named Giga and Mega, who transformed into engines that plugged into special sockets on the vehicles. Overlord could only transform when these two engines were in place, unlocking the joints necessary to convert the toy. Once he was in robot mode, they could also activate spring-loaded weapons hidden in his abdomen. As seen in the Japanese exclusive animated series, Super God Master Force, Overlord started out as a lifeless robot body known as a Transtector, one of several stolen from the Autobots by the Decepticon's new leader, the evil energy being Devil Zed. Seeking to create the ultimate life form by fusing human beings and Transformers together, Devil Zed recruited humans and gave them the power of the Master Force that allowed them to combine with and control the Transtectors. Husband and wife team Giga and Mega were linked to the Overlord Transtector. Giga piloted the Giga Tank and Mega the Mega Jet, with Giga appearing to have primary control of their combined robot form. It went unmentioned in the cartoon, but the Master Force manga explained that Devil Zed found the couple after they had drowned at sea and used his unearthly powers to resurrect them to serve as his proxies the leaders and parental figures of a cult-like family of human Decepticons. Overlord had the ability to negate the healing powers of other Godmasters, which allowed him to defeat the Autobot Godmaster Jinrai in their first encounter, leading to a long-standing rivalry and numerous battles between the two. However, Devil Zed's hatred of humanity eventually grew too much for Giga and Mega to bear. They were proud of their human heritage and turned on him when he attempted to destroy all of mankind. For their betrayal, Devil Zed forcibly separated Giga and Mega from the Overlord Transtector, killing them and bringing the Transtector to life as a Cybertronian life form in its own right. After Jinrai destroyed Devil Zed, this entirely robotic Overlord left Earth with the other Decepticons, but would return in 1990's Transformers Zone as one of nine generals assembled by the newest Decepticon leader, Violin Jiger. The Overlord toy never made it to North America, but in 1991 it was released in Europe and Australasia. The Japanese backstory for the character was discarded. This release labelled Overlord a legendary Decepticon anti-hero, a self-contained nomadic assault machine, and rebranded Giga and Mega as nameless Energon minifigures who gave Overlord his powers. It was in 2003 that Overlord finally appeared on American store shelves, but only in the form of a small PVC figurine. A surprising inclusion in the Heroes of Cybertron line of figures that Hasbro had imported from Japan. For this release, Overlord was given the new name Gigatron, and he gained a mention in the pages of Dreamwave Productions comic books later that year, when he was name dropped as the ancient creator of Power Master technology in that continuity. American audiences got their first major exposure to Overlord in the 2010 comic book Last Stand of the Wreckers from IDW Publishing. Irish writer-artist Nick Roach had owned the European release of the Overlord toy as a kid and brought him new fame by featuring him as the villain of the series, a rogue Decepticon super warrior who was obsessed with Megatron, the only opponent who had ever defeated Overlord in the Decepticon gladiator pits. The cruel, sadistic Overlord seized control of the Autobot prison Garrus 9, hoping the horrific display he put on there would catch Megatron's attention and lure him in for the rematch he so desperately desired. But instead, it was the Autobot commando unit The Wreckers who arrived to liberate the prison and defeat Overlord. 
In later comics, Overlord would return to menace the crew of the starship Lost Light, and finally got his chance for a rematch with Megatron, only to discover that the former Decepticon leader had grown old and renounced violence. His life's goal having suddenly lost all meaning, Overlord fell in with the mad scientist Tarantulus, whose experiments into organic alternate modes led to Overlord attaining the power to transform into a human. In this new form, under the identity of Megan Guiglione, a name that paid homage to Mega and Giga from Master Force, Overlord entered politics and stoked the fires of anti-transformer hatred among humanity. But really, he was just biding his time until Tarantulus completed his latest invention, a time machine, which Overlord intended to use to travel back to confront Megatron when he was still in his prime. But the machine proved to be Overlord's undoing when Wrecker's leader Springer used it to hurl his two vehicle components to opposite ends of the time stream, splitting Overlord across history and ending his threat for good. With Overlord's popularity at new highs thanks to Last Stand and fans hungry for a new toy, the official Transformers convention, BotCon, jumped on the opportunity and released a new exclusive figure at the 2012 convention, a retool of the 2009 Revenge of the Fallen bludgeon figure with a new head sporting the famously pouty lips Roach had given Overlord in Last Stand that had almost instantly become a hallmark of the character. Hasbro still didn't have the Overlord trademark, so this figure bore the Gigatron name once again, and he appeared in the convention-exclusive comic book as a version of the character from the Generation 1 Marvel comic universe, battling the evil Autobots from the mirror universe of Shattered Glass for control of Earth's rarefied Energon. Finally, after years of waiting, a brand new Overlord toy was released as part of the Titans Return toy line in 2017, this time using the character's original Japanese name. Just like the original figure, the toy split into a tank and jet and had a base mode, but rather than two Godmaster partners, came instead with the Titan Master Dreadnought, who formed Overlord's head. The toy earned Overlord a role in Machinima's Prime Wars trilogy of cartoons, which drew heavily on IDW's version of the character by again depicting him as a rogue Decepticon obsessed with defeating Megatron. Though viewers familiar with the comics were a little taken aback by his unexpected southern accent. I don't need your permission to go anywhere. I'm Overlord. <sighs> In pursuit of his goal, Overlord allied with the evil prime Megatronus, killed the Mistress of Flame, and orchestrated Unicron's possession of Hot Rod. But when he finally caught up to Megatron, his chance for revenge was cut short when the Decepticon leader atomized him with the ancient Requiem Blaster. The Japanese release of the new Overlord figure paid even closer homage to the original. Instead of Dreadnought, it came with new versions of Mega and Giga who could each form a different head for Overlord. Manga packaged with the figure continued the couple's story from the Master Force cartoon, detailing how Devil Zed brought them back to life and granted them a new Overlord Transtector each, which they could combine to form Overlord Terra, a makeshift combination created by the manga's author Hayato Sakamoto, which you can replicate if you have two Overlord toys. From rare and sought-after international exclusive to American comic book villain, from human-controlled robot to true transformer, from proud warrior to absolute monster, Overlord has worn a surprising variety of faces for a character whose time in the spotlight has been so sparing in the 30 years since his debut. But his emergent fan-favorite status is proof that there's no corner of Transformers history that isn't just waiting for the right creator to shine a light on it at the right time and turn it into the next big thing. And those are the basics on Overlord. How did you first encounter him? Was it Master Force, the European toy, IDW, or is The Basics the first you've ever heard of him? If so, that's even more incentive than usual to like, share, and subscribe for more from the world of the Transformers.